Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. Today we're going to be doing a caliber comparison between two popular calibers. And here in front of me I have the 300 Blackout and the 7.62x39. Now we're just going to barely be scratching the surface on this caliber comparison. And the reason is, of course, if you're familiar with the 300 Blackout, you know it comes in a wide variety of weights. Now, with that being said, here we're going to be comparing the 123 grain 7.62x29 and then the 125 300 Blackout because those have very similar ballistics. If you'll notice the difference between these two cases here, you can see that your 7.62x39 has a little bit longer case and the sides taper more on it and it has a wider base. Because of this, you have a little bit larger case capacity. Now, getting into it ballistically, your 7.62x39, at a 100 yard zero, you're gonna be about seven inches low at 200 yards with this particular bullet weight. The same thing can be said for your 300 blackout. So with that being said, now what really sets them apart is the platform that they were made for and what they work best in. These two cartridges were both designed around different firearm platforms. Your 762 by 39 was designed around the AK platform. It feeds best with this feed mechanism and these magazines. Um, your 300 Blackout was designed around the AR platform. Um, as you'll notice, it's based off the 223556 case. And those two firearms have widely different feeding mechanisms, so those calibers don't interchange well between the platforms. Now, you will see some ARs out there um, that are chambered in 7.62x39, and they take some pretty strange magazines, as you've seen. Now, with that being said, I will say that there are AR platforms out there that take AK mags, and those tend to feed okay. But as a general rule, I would recommend keeping these calibers specific to the platform they were designed around for the best reliability. Now, another good point to make is that both of these calibers are available in bolt guns from companies like CZ, uh, Remington, Ruger, and they all work well because of those short magazines, and they make a very good hunting option. Now, with that being said, that'd be hunting for hogs, deer, any game like that where you would use a 30 caliber bullet, these are perfect for it. If you have any questions about these caliber comparisons or any other caliber comparisons, uh, feel free to give us a call on the tech line or leave a comment below. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.